Hi, this is Rain. We're in Bozeman, Montana, putting together a near passive house. Um, the builder is Eason Builders. I'm from Collective Carpentry. These are walls that were built in our shop up in Inchimere, and um, we're putting them together. We've been here on site for about four days. Um, this is our, our fifth day on site. Um, we're going to install roof panels today and some upper walls, and then tidy this thing up and get out of here. Started out the day by putting in three giant roof panels on the main floor. Um, we then kind of transitioned into some air sealing and then some structural work um, in order for us to move upstairs. On the upstairs, we installed nine wall panels and then we moved into the structure that supports the roof, which is a big blue lamb beam and then we installed six roof panels on top of that. The assembly that we were working with today were, were mostly roof panels, and that's really just comprised of a really deep eye joist. It's a 24 inch deep eye joist filled with dense packed cellulose. We have airtight OSB on the inside and a layer of wood fiber board on the outside and a really nice Proclima membrane on the outside. Um, that forms our weather tightness and a uh, redundant air, air tightness layer. Let's go and take a look inside. You can kind of see what we accomplished today. So like I said earlier, we started out today by setting three really large roof panels. Some of the biggest ones we've ever made. They're 12 feet wide, two feet deep, um, about 24 feet long and weighed almost 6,000 pounds. Um, that is due to the mass of cellulose inside of them. We transitioned to this area here, which transitions to the upper the upper area which is a bedroom up there. We set the wall panels and roof panels on top of that. We really like using as much natural materials as we can, especially a nice carbon sequestering material like wood. So um, really the majority of this building is 